The one question you're gonna be asked by your cinematographer for every single shot. Is this on tripod or are we going handheld? What's up friends, the Nerdy Filmmaker here and today we are talking about the differences between shooting on a tripod or sticks, as the cool kids call it, or shooting handheld. We're not talking about camera movement changing from spot to spot. You can't do that with a tripod. We're really talking about a setup shot and whether or not we want to put it on a tripod or be holding the camera. Now the aesthetic differences of shooting on a tripod versus handheld are kind of obvious, but let's go over them real fast. When you're shooting on a tripod, your image is going to be static. It's going to be composed. Therefore, there's not going to be any camera shake. If you're hand holding a camera, you're going to be getting the movement of your hands going like this, whoa! And so there's going to be some shake in the frame. So when would you want to use one over the other and what would that actually do to like the creativity of um, the feeling of your image? Tripod tends to be kind of like the default situation for a lot of film. That's because the images are static, they're composed, they're precise, they're considered. They're also calm, right? Without any movement, we're really focusing purely on the performance, on the setting, all that kind of stuff. We're really focusing on what's within the frame. It's not necessarily eliciting any extra emotion onto the scene other than that sense of potentially calmness or at least structure. So then what does a handheld shot convey? Well, number one, all of a sudden it's gonna feel a lot dirtier, it's gonna feel a lot messier. And this applies to whether we're doing a close-up shot or a wide shot. You can be doing wide shots handheld as well. Breaking Bad did that all the time. And depending on what you're shooting, that handheld shake can elicit different emotions from the viewer. It might elicit a sense of voyeurism. And so if you wanna be putting the uh, viewer within the scene and maybe have them feel a little bit of discomfort about being within the scene, um, the camera shake helps with that. The staticness of a tripod kind of helps separate the audience from the scene. So that could be great for, let's say, an argument scene or something that's really vulnerable. Uh, if you want someone to feel discomfort, you can handhold it. The second thing it can elicit is a sense of instability, like things are not going well. So let's say, for example, you have a debate scene between two politicians who are extremely polished, um, or even let's say like Game of Thrones or very confident people, that static tripod would help accentuate that. As soon as you take it off and handhold it, all of a sudden it becomes a lot more chaotic. And that's when maybe tensions are getting elevated or maybe they're not two polished people. Let's say it's just two people going at it, right? Uh, fight scenes are almost entirely shot handheld. Horror films, a lot of those are shot handheld. And those are great examples of why you would want to have some shake. Because you want the audience not only to be seeing the frenetic energy of the scene, but be immersed in it as well. So the camera becomes, in a way, another character within your scene. That character being the audience. If you want the viewer to feel immersed in the scene, and part of the scene, whether it's to elicit discomfort in them by having them be in an intimate scene, to feel part of the action in a fight scene, or to feel like they are being chased by a zombie uh, from a horror scene, those are reasons why you might want to go to handheld. So there are two more notes that I want to touch on. First is that um, there is a middle ground. If you want to have some camera movement, but you don't want all of the, let's say, kind of jitters that come along with uh, hand holding, you can do what's called loose sticks. So that's basically when you have the camera on your tripod, but you have all the tension and locks released. And so you're still relying on the stability of the legs uh, to hold the weight of the camera, but the cinematographer is still kind of like floating with it, keeping it, you know, pointing the right way. And so you do kind of get that, that movement, but it's more of a float. So it's not as jarring. And then the second thing is, Look, I mean, truth be told, and not necessarily that this is a creative thing, but um, it's a lot faster sometimes to shoot handheld. There's a reason why documentary filmmakers shoot handheld. It's faster, you shave a few minutes off of each shot, that adds up, it gets you an extra two shots or something like that. Uh, just shoot handheld. <laughs> That's it, a quickie today, a nice departure from my like 15 to 20 minute videos. Uh, if I've missed anything, please drop it in the comments. And uh, hey, I'll see you on the next one, friends. Bye.